Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. When we come across Psalm 8, we are invited to contemplate the grandeur and wonder of God's creation. Written by King David, this psalm expresses his deep admiration for the handiwork of the Lord and the unique position of human beings within this magnificent context. In Psalm 8, David begins by praising the name of the Lord, acknowledging his glory that extends over all the earth and beyond the heavens. It highlights how God manifests his greatness even in the voices of children and those who suckle, using them to silence adversaries and enemies. When contemplating the heavens and all the wonders that dwell there, such as the moon and the stars, David questions himself about the insignificance of human beings in relation to this divine grandeur. However, even though he was mortal, God crowned man with glory and honor, placing him next to himself. The psalmist recognizes that God has given human beings dominion over the works of his hands. From the sheep and oxen, to the birds of the sky and the fish of the sea, everything is subject to human authority. This God-given responsibility is a demonstration of his love and trust in human beings. Therefore, Psalm 8 causes us to reflect on the greatness of God and our position as human beings within his creation. We are reminded of our responsibility and the value God has given us. This psalm invites us to recognize the greatness of the Lord and to render him praise and worship. Faced with such wonder, I invite all brothers and sisters to subscribe to the channel, insert channel name, where we can deepen our knowledge of the scriptures, share reflections, and learn together about the word of God. Let's come together as a community of faith, strengthening each other and growing spiritually. Together, we can explore the truths contained in the Psalms and throughout the Bible, building our lives and glorifying the name of the Lord. Come be part of this journey of knowledge and communion. We will pray the 8th Psalm, and then the Our Father. O Lord, our Lord, how admirable is your name in all the earth, for you have set your glory in the heavens. From the mouths of infants and sucklings you have raised up strength, because of your adversaries, to silence the enemy and vengeful. When I see your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have prepared. What is mortal man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man, that you visit him? However, little below God you did it, with glory and honor you crowned him. You gave him dominion over the works of your hands, you put everything under your feet. All the sheep and oxen, as well as the animals of the field. The birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatever passes through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how admirable is your name in all the earth. Our Father, who art in heaven. Blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. As we come to the end of this reflection on Psalm 8, we are filled with a deep sense of reverence and gratitude. Through the words of the psalmist David, we are reminded of the magnitude and majesty of God, who extends his glory over the heavens and over all the earth. Contemplating the work of divine hands inspires us to recognize the Creator's majesty and to value the unique place he has given to humanity. In that psalm we find that we are made a little lower than God, and crowned with glory and honor. This leads us to a deep reflection on our identity as children of God. We are reminded that we were created with purpose and intrinsic value. Each of us has a special place in this immense tapestry of creation, 
and God has entrusted us with the task of caring for and ruling over his work. Throughout our lives, we may face challenges, doubts, and adversity, but we can find encouragement in Psalm 8. It reminds us that even in the face of divine greatness, God loves us and cares for us. He empowers us and gives us authority over the works of His hands. We can find strength and confidence in the knowledge that we are not alone on this journey, for the Lord is with us every step of the way. I want to express my deep gratitude to all the brothers and sisters who took the time to accompany this reflection until the end of the video. Appreciating God's Word together strengthens our community of faith and inspires us to grow in knowledge and intimacy with the Lord. I thank each of you for your support, your interest in seeking the truth, and your commitment to strengthening our faith. May we continue to explore the Psalms and all of God's Word, seeking wisdom, comfort, and direction for our lives. May Psalm 8 constantly remind us of God's greatness and love, and may it inspire us to worship Him with all our hearts. May we live worthy of the calling He has given us, recognizing our position as beloved children of the Most High. To all the brothers and sisters who made it to the end of the video, once again, thank you with all my heart. May the Lord richly bless you, guide you every step of the way, and fill your hearts with joy and peace. Let us continue to grow together in the grace and knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.